Hello everybody, today we are going to be going over Try Hack Me's Security Operations Room, that's part of the Introduction to Cyber Defense Pathway. As usual, this is going to be more of a demonstration of Task 3, which includes the website, rather than going through line by line. I'm going to be linking the room in the description so you can go through it yourself, and I highly recommend that you do so. However, I will give a brief overview about what each of the tasks are talking about. Let's go ahead into Task 1, Introduction to Security Operations. So this task just basically defines what a SOC team is, which is a security operations center, and it's a team of IT security professionals who are tasked with monitoring a company's network and systems for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And here it gives the purpose as to why they are monitoring. Going on to the questions, what does SOC stand for? It stands for Security Operations Center. And how many hours a day does the SOC monitor the network? 24. Easy enough, we're speeding through onto task two. This task just talks about um, some example data sources that security operations centers rely on, such as like server logs and DNS activity. And it also explains what some of the services are, and that includes reactive and proactive services, in addition to other services as well, such as network security monitoring, which is a focus on monitoring the network data and analyzing the traffic to detect signs of intrusions and it goes through each one and they do a very good job of explaining it so again I highly recommend that you look through it and here it also gives an example scenario that a SOC analyst might find themselves in going on to the questions what does NSM stand for that stands for network security monitoring and I did just go over that and it is right here it focuses on monitoring network data Alrighty, and moving on to task three, what we're really here for, this is the practical example of a SOC, and we're going to be using a firewall to stop an ongoing attack. And in case you don't know what a firewall is, it's a device that inspects network packets entering and leaving a network or a system. And here it just goes on to show what a firewall rule might show. All right, but let's go ahead and view site so we can start the the simulation. So we have to add the necessary firewall rules to block the ongoing attack. What is the flag that you have received after successfully stopping the attack? So this does go pretty quickly. So I will be inputting the answer very quickly, but I'm going to explain as best I can as I go. And I'm also going to do it again once more after that a little bit slower. So before starting the simulation, it looks like we have two computers going through a router to another computer and they will each be sending packets and it says that the packets in red are going to be from the attacker's machine. And another thing that we need to note is that it's a website that's being attacked, which if you don't know ports would generally be hosted using port 80 or port 443 if it's secure. So that will probably be the port that we're looking for. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. It looks like the attacker is coming from this IP address. So we will change that source IP address and it's going to this destination. And again, it's a website, we'll do port 80 and we're gonna drop those packets. So it stops them from going through the router and to the machine. And we get our answer. But again, I'm going to explain that one more time. So if we start the simulation again, it's coming from this address. So we have to change the source IP address to match that and it's going to this one, which is the destination. So that's why we'd set the destination address to that. And again, it's a website, which is generally over port 80, and you would drop those. Anyway, very, very short room. I know I kind of sped through it very quickly, but I want you guys to take the time to actually read it yourselves, because I feel like it's better to learn that way, and it'll make more sense if you really analyze the lines yourself. For the simple rooms, I think that this suffices, but for the more complex rooms, I do go through them step by step. I hope that you enjoyed. Like if you liked, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you, and have a good one.